Well, Stephen Joyce, 19 year old Tyrone Saro uh, was reported missing yesterday, and his family and friends got word from law enforcement last night that he had been murdered. He was last seen alive at this AM PM here in Port Orchard, where a family friend tells me he liked to hang out. 19 is too young. I'm 22 years old. 19 is too young. Megan Anderson knew Tyrone Saro for years. Tyrone was best friends with everyone. He went to church. He was really into cars. He was always passenger seat in the Del Sol. Everyone knew him. When her younger sister, Sarah's girlfriend, hadn't heard from him in several hours Wednesday night, they knew something was wrong. Once it got to, you know, the two hour mark, the three hour mark, the four hour mark, you know, he was supposed to meet a friend right there. According to court documents, Sarah met up with 20 year old Carlin Talent and 19 year old Cannon Stevens and a third unidentified suspect to sell them marijuana in the AM PM parking lot. Investigators say surveillance video from the convenience store shows Sarah getting into a car with the defendants. Then some sort of struggle ensues before the car sped off. Thursday, Stevens turned himself in and law enforcement say he confessed that he, Talent, and the third suspect shot Saro in the head and tried to dispose of his body. According to Anderson, Saro's death is a huge loss for the community as a whole. And that kills me on the inside. I think a, a little bit of the community died when we lost Tyrone. Anderson is praying for life sentences for those responsible. It gives us a little bit of a peace of mind, but it's not good enough. It's it should never came down to this. Tyrone did not deserve this. Nobody deserves this. I don't know how anybody in the world can have this go through their mind and do what they did. Investigators are still searching for that third suspect, but have not released any suspect information at this time. And we're told by family and friends that they'll be holding a candlelight vigil here in the AM PM parking lot tomorrow at 7 PM to honor honor Sarah's life. Live in Port Orchard, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.